Today we're doing something ridiculous, magical, and even a little bit Hobbit adjacent. We're printing a life-size halfly. Yes, life-size. I'm going to show you how to break down this little legend in Bamboo Lab Studio. Using cutting planes, aligning pins, and smart orientation, and even a little elvish magic. I'm Brian DeLuca and this is Maker Build It and today I'm going to show you how to break down this life-size model in Bamboo Lab Studio. And this is great for anything that's bigger than your build plane. I'm going to show you how to use cut planes, aligning pins, and smart orientation to get it done. If you're new to D&D, halflings are the fun size, barefoot badasses of the fantasy world. Look at this halfling, confident, poised, hairy feet, Probably plotting to pickpocket a goblin and run. We've got a problem. Even this halfling, which is life-size or a one-to-one -one ratio, is way too big for our 3D printer. So there's no way you could print this in one piece unless you were a wizard or you had a printer the size of a refrigerator, which most of us don't. So we're going to slice it off like a pie, sort of like a heroic barefoot pie, but yeah, a pie nonetheless. The first thing I do when I look at the model is think about places where I can cut it logically. Think about seams where it won't be so noticeable or joints that won't make you cry when you're doing your cleanup. Now, I always try to approach the cutting process as if I was a wizard with OCD. So first we're gonna import our model into Bamboo Lab Studio. Then we're gonna scale it to 1200%. Now, as you can see, this is gonna be quite large on our build plate, but this is what a life-size halfling would be in a one-to-one -one ratio. Now, this is quite large compared to our build plate, so we're gonna need to cut this into pieces. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna look at this model, examine it, and see where we could cut it the easiest, meaning like cutting off some of the um, limbs as well as cutting off the head and cutting the torso as well as the long bow or I should say in this case, the short bow. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on the cut tool. We're gonna angle it so we can cut off this first um, piece. And once we get our angle completely right and we wanna make sure we're not cutting off anything else weird in the model, that way we can have nice clean uh, pieces. Now, once we're happy with the clip, we're gonna click on add connector. And in this case, we're gonna make our connector square because if we left it at three millimeters, you can see how tiny it would be. So we're gonna make it 20 by 20 millimeters. So about an inch by an inch, a little smaller than an inch. And this will give us enough to connect the pieces. Now you can see the leg here has a connector where the model has the hole in it. Now we're just gonna perform the cut and it will separate the two pieces. Now you can see our model has shifted over. As you can see, we're gonna add another build plate and we're gonna start slicing off other pieces of the model. Now, each time we slice off a piece, we're gonna add another build plate and get everything on separate build plates. And this is pretty much just rinse and repeat until we've sliced the bottle completely into pieces that will fit on the bed of our X1 carbon. And if you want to see the full build of this halfling, make sure you follow for an upcoming video on it. As you can see, we have everything sliced into pieces. We wound up with 11 build plates, but you can see there are some small parts where you could add them onto one build plate and print them at the same time. Supports the pin. Make sure everything is still in scale because it's pretty easy to wind up with a halfling that's missing a hand or part of a weapon. <clears throat> Not that I've done that. With everything printed except for a couple of parts, it's time to see if Bamboo Lab Studio did a good job with the cuts and the pins. That actually snapped together pretty easy. We have another piece that's going over here. It's still printing. So let's see how easy this is to get off. Okay, 
Not bad. Not bad. Let's try another piece. Here's the bow. Bye. Bye. Snap together pretty good. Uh oh, this one's. Okay, there we go. I love this print and how the parts are easily going together. So that's the process I use when I'm breaking down bigger 3D prints than my build plate, especially if I'm building life-size, one-to-one scale D&D fantasy characters. Whether you're printing heroes, goblins, or giant gelatinous cubes, this process is really good for printing life-size, one-to-one scale figures. The workflow is good for clean prints, easy assembly, and zero rage quits. I hope this helped out and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss our next full scale, life size, one to one DD 3D print. For more on 3D printing, DIY, and maker projects, make sure you like and follow Maker Build It. And remember, keep on making.